hello everyone welcome here in this section you are going to learn setting up local development environment before initiating these steps what is javascript we are knowing about in this particular lecture so let's begin here so javascript is a scripting or programming language that allows you to develop complex features on web pages the client side and server side that allows you to make web pages interactive so what you need to understand here javascript is possible to write either client side or server side programming language and it's very lightweight programming language it runs the program and it will uses the browser interactivity in in terms of uh, data transmitting and uh, page loads it's a very lightweight so it becomes it is in a very popular see where html and css are the languages that gives structure and style to web pages javascript gives the web pages interactive elements that engage a user on every time a web page displaying timely content updates interactive of maps and animated 2d or 3d graphics scrolling web like a video joke box and um, data updates if any charts that will be reflect the latest data it will be uh, pulled from the server and it will present you in terms of lightweight manner so this is an a javascript is a very become popular few more steps we'll see why it is in so popular and uh, why you need to focus in this particular language so the front end we may see it is an html its html is a markup language that we use to structure and give meaning to our web page content making layouts and designing paragraphs headings data tables or embedding images videos and many more which we are making like a skeleton for web page so the css is the language especially it's came and popular for styling html pages making more beautiful sites adding more colors to your web page what the html components are there for example setting backgrounds colors font styles and laying out of for content in multiple columns and uh, boxes flex boxes grids all possible using css along with these two to adding interactivity will use for javascript now let's see interpreted versus compiled language so the code how it is going to be run with this javascript see you might hear that the terms of uh, interpreted and uh, compiled in the context of programming languages when you are uh, learning the programming language when you are journey with the programming language you may hear how we are able to see in the output so here in interpreted languages means the code runs from the top to bottom and the result of the running of the code immediately you will get you don't have transform to the code into different languages some other languages may be intermediate il language we can call it as or byte code or binary code it, we cannot say it the code is received the programmer friendly text from and processed directly from the browser and it will be displayed there itself will be called as interpreted language compiled languages is a, like a programming languages it will be compiled from one language to another language then it will be runs and again it will be converted into uh, system readable language then we'll able to see the browser codes for an example c c++ java c sharp and f sharp these are the compiled into machine code then run by the computer 
వైస్ వర్సా ఇట్ విల్ బి కన్వర్టెడ్ ఇన్ టు బ్రౌజర్ యూజర్ రీడబుల్ కోడ్ అండ్ ఇట్ విల్ బి డిస్ప్లేస్ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఈజ్ ఎగ్జిక్యూటెడ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద బ్రైనరీ లైక్ అ బైనరీ ఫార్మాట్ విచ్ ఈస్ జనరేటెడ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ఒరిజినల్ ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ హౌస్ కోడ్ విల్ బి కాల్డ్ యాజ్ కంపైల్డ్ లాంగ్వేజెస్ ద ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఈజ్ కంపైలింగ్ knowing more about javascript so the execution process in javascript is a plain javascript is going to be done by browser itself so the web browser receives the javascript code in its original text and runs most modern web browsers are uses javascript interpreters actually uses a technique called just in time compilation to improve the performance of an web page by the format while the script is being used so that it can be run as quickly as possibly will give the output however javascript is still considered an interpreted language since the compilation is handled at run time on browser itself there is no need to Uh, require for for uh, any other compiler or server it's not required for javascript at client side see the differences between server side and client side what is the difference major differences see you might hear about the terms of server side and programming and client side programming especially you may hear about when you are dealing with the web applications or web development so the client side code is runs users computer itself it may be desktop it may be browser whatever it it will be runs there itself it won't depend on any other server or any other resources it may be like uh, see when a web browser page is viewed web page content like javascript code page client code is downloaded then run display the browser the result will be displayed at the browser itself in this course we are explicitly taking about the client side javascript to learn more things on the client side uh, javascript functionalities only so the server side code on the sir other hand the runs the server side then its results are downloaded and displayed to the browser example of a popular servers like uh, popular programming languages like php python java ruby asp.net c sharp and many more languages who are uh, which are required to compile at server side javascript as a server side language will be considered when when we are using the modern and advanced technologies of node js environment with the angular js react js and vue js these are the server side scripting is also possible using J- like uh, javascript these are also javascript whereas these are the framework based javascripts so this is about what is javascript when you are initiating and starting the journey with the javascript these all are very familiarly you should know the things so i'll thank you very much we'll start by setting like a choosing a code editors how to start and initiating the steps in this section you will learn with the welcome program Thank you.